Hello and welcome to Friday Book Chat with Mr. Mayor once again. Obviously, it is homecoming week, so I've got my homecoming gear on. And the books I'm going to talk to you today are all kind of football related, cheerleader related, high school related. First one, this book's been out for quite a while. It's called Stupid Fast. And it's about a kid named Felton who has, he's always been kind of a shrimp. He's kind of a nerdy kid. All the jocks call him Squirrel Nut. But his summer before his sophomore year, he has this huge growth spurt. And he becomes much stronger and much faster. And now the football team wants him to play with them. And he's good. He is what they call stupid fast. And the football team needs him. So he's dealing with that. And then a new girl moves in next door and he is quickly kind of taken aback by her as well. But he's also dealing with some stuff at home. His mom's kind of acting strangely and his brother is always acting strange, but even more lately. Just a good book about high school football. Both boys and girls would like this one. High school boys, I have not met a boy that has not enjoyed this one called Swim the Fly. Super funny. Um, at times inappropriate because the main characters are three boys that all they think about are girls and just their whole world is trying to impress these girls and they're on the swim team and they're not very good at it but in an effort to impress a couple girls on the swim team the main character um, Mark he decides that he's going to swim the 100 yard butterfly even though he can't swim one lap butterfly, let alone four laps. But he thinks he's got a whole summer to do this and to impress these girls. What could go wrong? Like I said, very funny. Um, if you like crude humor, this one is a good one. And it's got two other ones after this. This next one called The Cheerleaders. This is about a city that... They no longer has, the school no longer has cheerleaders because five years previously, two of the cheerleaders were involved in a car accident and were killed. Then a few cheerleaders were murdered. And then the last cheerleader, the main character's sister committed suicide. So the school decides to disband the cheerleaders and just kind of go on. Well, five years later, they want to have a memorial for these cheerleaders. But the main character, some things start happening. Um, she starts finding some clues and some weird things that she had never thought about. And comes to find out that there were some weird things going on five years ago with the disappearance of all these cheerleaders. So this is a mystery um, kind of set in that high school. Kind of reminded me of a little bit of like Riverdale and Pretty Little Liars, that kind of, um, that kind of mystery. This one, Burn for Burn, this one also kind of reminded me a little bit of Pretty Little Liars. This is by the same author of To All the Boys I Loved Before. And if you haven't read that one, highly encourage that. But Burn for Burn is about three girls that are wanting revenge for different reasons. Revenge on friends, revenge on boyfriends. But they can't really get the revenge that they want by themselves. But when they find each other and they team up and they start talking they realize that the three of them can take down their enemies. This book, it's sometimes kind of silly, but if you're just looking for something kind of fun and a um, little bit mysterious, realistic fiction, check out Burn for Burn. And again, this is book one of a trilogy. And the last one I'm going to talk to you about is one of my very favorite books. This book I read, um, I think, as a freshman in high school, and it continues to be one of my very favorites, Tears of a Tiger. It's about a basketball team that just wins a championship, and um, five friends go out afterwards, and a few of them are drinking, and they get into a car accident, and the star basketball player is killed. And the whole community is devastated, but especially Andy is devastated because Andy was the one who was driving. And he has to deal with that grief of killing his best friend. This book is told through 
newspaper articles, journal assignments, poetry. Um, so just the way it is told is a fantastic look at grief. Check this one out. So good. Happy homecoming. Hope you have a great week. Check these books out.